Looking for some unique niche fragrance to spice up your 2022 year? Wee oui, wee oui, baguette! I got you! Bonjour fragrance lovers, this is Clémence talking about fragrance and welcome back. I don't ask you much, but please subscribe to my channel if you're new here. That also, we are in early 20k and when we will be 20k, I will do a video every day during a week. So please subscribe to see that happening quicker. Would need the world to me. Do it. Are you not embarrassed? This is really embarrassing. And feel free to express yourself in the comment section. I'm always happy to discuss with you guys. In today's video, I'm talking about the incredible house Atelier des Ors. They have stunning bottles of fragrances, but what is it worth? So I've tested the house, tried for a few days on my skin, all of the fragrance, and I'm ready to give you a top list of what you should go for when you go shopping Atelier des Ors. Let's go through a little presentation. So Atelier des Ors is a French niche fragrance house, poetic, elegant, and French, created and made in France. This is really inspired by art. I always like to see uh, fragrance has connected with something different, a different type of art, whether it's music or just painting. They seem to have like an in-house group of people uh, taking care of the creation of the fragrance. I know there's Jean-Philippe as the artistic creation that's got a very modern approach of fragrance with the respect of the savoir-faire. There is Marie, the perfumer, and I guess a lot of more people. What is nice to see is that they respect an ethical uh, business and have a, sust a sustainable way uh, to get the ingredients. A few collections, you've got the white collection that has been created around the, uh, the piece of art by uh, Clint. It's meant to be very alluring, sensual, and give you an idea of happiness. The Riviera collection is like a bit more holiday-like with sea views and blah, blah, blah. Or collection that is very light, radiant, and give something a bit vintage, glamorous, like and the black collection that is the one that gives the most uh, powerful uh, personality i guess i got this discovery set that is actually available on the website you can actually uh, choose the fragrance that are on the inside i know in euros it's 50, 50 euros so <laughs> okay let me tell you about my top six fragrances Number six is called L'Arme du Désert. Very, very dry composition. It's woody, it's ambery, it's smoky. It's got something like a bit piney behind that's mainly given by Cypress. Extremely spicy. It's very dark and the fragrance is pretty linear. What you smell at the beginning is exactly what it smells like after a few hours. Very resinous and even give me something a little bit more churchy, but that's mainly because there's like benzoin and stuff like that always give me that churchy vibe, but not too much. It's a very serious scent to me. It's not really a happy uh, fragrance. It gives a bit of a nostalgic vibe to me, but a very dark, a strong personality. My number five is called Crépuscule des âmes. This is a warm, spicy, aromatic uh, amber and quite citrusy at the end. Very masculine, clean vibe. The first time I smelled it, I was like, oh, this is so addictive. I wanted to cuddle it. It's a bit herbaceous as well. And it's got a very sexy undertone, mainly because I feel there's a slightly animalic note in there. It's quite discreet. It's not skanky at all. Don't worry. Don't worry about it, sweetheart. It makes me think of that Slightly, you know, those uh, 80s, 90s fragrance for men. It gave me that that vibe, you know, ultra alpha male, but with a hint of sensitivity. They, they kind of like balance it out to make it very modern, very warm, quite silky. It's got a little bit of incense that is encapsulating this, but honestly, you need to try because this one gave me like, I don't know how to describe that. Number <laughs> four is Pomelo Riviera. So this is the fragrance you're gonna wear where you're gonna be by the coast. The sea view kind of fragrance, casual chic outfit, having a walk by the sea with your loved one or something like this. It's mainly green to me. I smell really a green natural uh, tone when I smelled it with a lot of citrus and with the grapefruit that is sparkling at the beginning. Basically a citrus fragrance, guys. But at the end, it's got a bit of that air ball and white floral tone that gives a bit of romanticism. Don't be scared, but the floral for me is definitely super unique sex. It's like a fizzy drink, like with sparkling water, a bit of lime and some cucumber. It makes me think of that. I really like it. It's like a getaway. Like when I smell that, I'm like traveling and I feel already in summer. Number 
3 is Lune Feline. So this is probably the most hyped fragrance of the collection. Vanilla is really on trend. It's an amber, warm, spicy fragrance and quite balsamic. Very strong vanilla fragrance. It's again something that you need to try by yourself because I'm afraid my review is not going to help you much. And a lot of people review this fragrance so differently. Like some people say it's a skin scent, it's very soft, blah blah blah. I have it on my skin really animalic and extremely strong. It really made me think of the first time I smell it of Musk Ravageur. It's got a powdery undertone with some time as well, that's for sure. A slightly medical vibe, medicine-like vibe that you can smell. I personally do enjoy that. I remember smelling those kind of medical vibe in Wood for Greatness. I really like it, but some people really don't like it. A very beautiful fragrance, but please try it before. Your best mate for fall and winter. I would like to wear that when it's very cold outside or even for a little bit of a wild date. Naughty, naughty, you teasing me, you naughty, naughty. Two is Rouge Saret. I could place it number one uh, as well. Uh, I just don't know which one to choose. This is a little bit more sweet, woody, slightly fruity and vanilla like. If you do love something like um, Black Phantom by Killian, Black Orchid by Tom Ford, this is for you. Very gourmand, slightly sweet but dark at the same time. When the first time I smell it, I smell like an espresso martini. <laughs> A love at first sight for this one. So sexy, so glamorous at the same time. It's incredible. Definitely an evening fragrance to me. Very yummy, seductive. I love the fact that there's a touch of flower to really balance it. But again, it's not proeminent. Very mellow. It's smooth. A real masterpiece. It's really rich. I really love it. I think it's really well well done. I think I even prefer it to Black Phantom because it gives me a slightly more romantic vibe. The plum dates a cause, so it gives that dry fruit note that I think gives so much character and again a cocktail like feeling it's incredible one is Coeur des Anges the probably divide people when it's quite unique you know and, and something different it's fruity citrusy and sweet for whoever wants you know a citrus fragrance that's gonna last on your skin this is the one you need to go for or for some people that love the citrusy fragrance but wish for winter they would be slightly sweeter there you go. It's mainly blood orange, so you can really smell that. It's really there. This very juicy accord, slightly bitter. Hair, black currant, so a lot of fruit that gives a sweetie, sweetie accord. Honey, amber at the base. Sweet, juicy cocktail. Basically smells like a boost of vitamin C. For the lovers of Pomelo Paradis from Atelier Cologne, you can try this one. I think you're gonna enjoy it. It's much more sweeter and I do appreciate that. It's very silky. It's a citrus, but it's sexy at the same time and it's really rare to, rare, rare to smell something like that. At the end it's got something like quite clean and soapy, very complex citrus after all, strong and fizzy at the same time. Remember like some childhood memories with fizzy sweet drinks, I wore it to go to bed, I wore it in the morning, I wore it during the day, you can you can basically use that all season long. You know like when you try so many fragrances, when you have something that stand out in terms of scent, you directly like are drawn to it and to me that was this, I was like yes I, I never smelled that before. I uh, For a fragrance from uh, Atelier des Ors, you pay around 200 to 230 euros. It's expensive, yes. Does it worth it to me? Yes. The fragrances are really nicely balanced with a hint of ingredients here, a hint of ingredients here. It's very meticulous work to me and very artistic. Um, all of the fragrances that you can see that describe it, for example, Crépuscule des Anges, giving you that idea of happiness, 100% yes. I could feel it in me and I think the stories, the fragrances have a story to tell you and you can smell it, it really uh, paired with with the mood of the fragrance. Uh, I don't know, when I feel uh, serious and stuff, I'm gonna wear L'Ambe du Désert. When I feel really sexy, I'm gonna wear Rouge Saray. French perfumery at its best to me. It's it's not your beast mode stuff, but I feel, you know, like with this beast mode mode, uh, you get fragrances that are overly synthetic or very powdery in the thread. This is not, this is really rich, meticulous, and I really enjoy it. Also, the bottle is incredible. So um, I feel when uh, you're passionate about fragrance, some people are like, I don't give a shit about the bottle. Fair enough. I personally really uh, take my fragrance as a piece of art. And for me, if it doesn't have the bottle, uh, a nice bottle and a different bottle with it, I'm not interested. Be uh, superficial what I'm saying, but it's 
it's important to me. The, the bottle doesn't make the sense, but in this case, I think it's really nicely paired. Great stuff. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not subscribed yet. Also, if you want to support this channel, uh, which is nicely appreciated, you've got my UTIP account in the description box. It's basically, you can give me a little tip, a little donation. It's always appreciated. Voilà, I don't know why I'm taking this French accent like this. I don't know. Uh, I wish you a lovely, lovely day and I'll see you soon. Bye now.